Good morning. This is Fawn, and this is a palette knife painting lesson. Painting with a knife is a, uh, a little more difficult, I would say, than painting with a brush, uh, but a lot more fun. So I just want to show you a few things, how to get started, and maybe we'll get a little ways on a painting. Don't know that we'll get a whole one finished, but I'll do some more videos. This is my first one, by the way, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, okay, so I have a canvas board, a panel. This is a very inexpensive way to learn. A uh, canvas, a, a stretched canvas or a piece of, of hardboard is a better surface, but uh, to learn on this is fine. Uh, student grade paints, I like Liquitex. Uh, of course, for paintings that I'm gonna sell, I use professional paints and mediums. Uh, I, like, I like the Liquitex brand. This is a gesso, a primer. I have mixed brown and blue together in Meta Gray. Of course, you can make a blue background, a brown background. It just helps to have a background when you're doing a knife painting so all the little white holes kind of get covered. If something shows through, it's not white. It's, uh, it's the color you've put underneath, and it just makes it uh, a little easier on the eyes, I think. Okay, um, my colors for this, I chose phthalo blue. It's actually phthalo cyanine or something. Some people call it brilliant blue. Different companies have different names for it. And uh, ultramarine blue and white, titanium white. Uh, cadmium yellow light, red oxide, and burn umber. Red oxide could be replaced with burnt sienna very easily. They work the same pretty much. Of course, you have to have a knife. Uh, you only need one, but it's nice to experiment with others. Uh, this is a good size, a good one to start with. It has a bend in it. I like the bend for my fingers to be able to wrap around and to the ease of use. These are metal. They're kind of what I like to use the most. These are plastic. Uh, when I teach kids art classes, we use plastic. I feel like it's a little safer, cleans up easier, and uh, they don't rust if they get forgotten in the water or something. Knives clean up much easier, by the way, than painting brushes. You need some kind of reference. Some people use calendars and magazines, and that's fine when you're a student. If you're going to show and sell your work or put your work in uh, competitions, you want to use your own photographs, your own reference, which is better anyway because you get the um, memories, the story behind the painting, all of that. It's a really cool, cool way to do your art. All right, so I think we're ready to start. Kind of pick one that I like the most and use it for most of the painting. Uh, you mix with the back not the top. So I'm going to make a little sand color. Actually, a lot of sand color. It takes a lot more paint with a knife. So your first layer, not a big deal. You're just getting color on there. Some people scrape. Ugh. I like to pull, pull, pull. Really cool pattern texture if you'll vary the colors. 
instead of using one solid color pick up some darks and lights as you go ah, I caught it you also need lots of towels So it's okay if the gray shows through, not a big deal. Sometimes I do that intentionally. I have to turn it a little bit. That's looking pretty good. There's a lot more brown. I like to darken the edges a little more. Uh, kind of brings the viewer's eye into the painting. So that's a trick a lot of artists do. Darken up the edges. So with acrylic paints, you try to work one area at a time. And resolve that area while it's wet to get these cool mixtures. If you want to paint back over it, you can later. Um, if you want more texture, I can leave this like it is. I like it. If I wanted more of a grainy texture, tap on it. darker that's going to show through the water so I'm going to put a little bit up here and the water will come back over the top of that and instead of a straight line try to angle it give it a little more interest nice lay in. I'm not going to tap there. That's where the waves are going to come up. So I'm just leaving those kind of smooth. Smooth there. And just wipe the knife off. Okay. really cool. Watch this. <laughs> so I'm barely pushing. I'm holding it very flat to the canvas. It's okay if your hands shake. <laughs> it helps the whole situation. Definitely going to need more white. You have to buy white in large tubes, buy extra white, use a lot of white. Acrylics dry a little darker, so you tend to want to use more white and lighten things up. It's always easy to go back and darken something later uh, when it's dry. Okay, so I'm going to switch colors now. This is where you can really see the difference in these two blues. This one has more of a 
a greenish tone to it. Ultramarine has more of a purplish tone. So I like to buy both. Give me some options. So that's phthalo, phthalo cyanide blue. You can see how cool that looks when it overlaps. If you go over it too much like that, it just blends it all away. So if you want it blended, you would just really work over and over it. If you don't want it blended, then you want to let it kind of like, when you add more mayonnaise and more mayonnaise, you want it to kind of build up. You don't push as hard. You kind of slop more over the top. So it's a little messy. It uses a lot of paint, but it's a really cool effect. If I want a little tiny bit of green, I will pick up some yellow. Nice to have some color changes. And you can see my palette's getting quite messy. That's okay, that's part of it. A little more white. ultramarine up here. I don't know why. I just like that color. And back to phthalo. So you want some areas to get nice and dark and you want some areas be uh, really very light. So it gives it a good contrast. So that's kind of what I'm working on, trying to find places I can darken it more. So if I want more of a wavy action, I will pull some of these down. Just a tiny bit though. If you go too far down, it won't, it won't look right. You've got to pull it back, kind of back, like a curve. And I'm barely touching. right in here. So I think I want to go back to my, uh, my white. And really make some splash. You could do that in uh, light blue, like I did down here. Again, more white. <laughs> that's a good thing. If you keep running out of white, that's a good thing. So 
top of a dark area can have a little bit of white. And I'm holding the knife a little differently now, pushing it to the side. So I'm just getting that edge. So you have to get the paint back on the knife a little more often. Is that cool? Because it's wet. When you use the paint thick, it stays wet longer. It doesn't dry as quick. you want to let things dry completely um, work over dry paint or you want to work wet and wet with lots of thick paint because if it starts to dry uh, and you go over it it's, it's tacky and then it'll kind of pull off so that's not good so either completely thick and wet and messy um, or let it dry completely to go back over things don't try to work on it once it starts to dry that's another trick, tip, secret, whatever you want to call it, that a lot of people don't realize. Okay, so if I don't like something and I want to change it, I let it dry, I'll paint white over it, let that dry, and then put the new color over that that I want. Um, generally though, with a knife painting, you just go with it and you get what you get. It's all uh, kind of abstract anyway so yeah. all right and some people splatter for sand with a fan brush with a lot of thin paint and water on it for a knife painting I generally don't do that um, and then these are good for mixed media. You can add actual little shells and add little things. Just use a good quality medium. Uh, gel medium is good. Uh, and then seal it when you're done with, with a clear acrylic sealer. I think this is just about it for now. I like it. Um, here's another little trick. You can Just make your wave transparent. This by putting a tiny bit of white along there. Now you have a wave coming up onto the beach that's a little bit transparent. Cool is that? I think it's better if you leave it alone and uh, give it a rest because you can have too much. Uh, my tendency is to add too much, <laughs> get carried away, and uh, then I have to fix things that I added too much to. So, uh, but I just love to keep painting. Okay, let me know if you like it. Please um, hit the like button or share it or subscribe or whatever and uh, give me some feedback. This is my very first one. I hope to do more. Thank you.